and I am John Purden, and I did most of my work in 77 to graduate, but then I had to, uh, fell short three hours, and was already out working, and had to make it, had to do that three hours by correspondence, and so we ended up, and actually it was three hours of undergraduate, which held up the master's degree, and I got the uh, got the bachelor's degree in December 1980. Got the master's awarded in May of '81. Okay. After your degrees at OSU, where did your career take you from there? Okay, thank you, Ashley. I accepted a, a position with Warren Petroleum Company at the time. It was a division of Gulf Oil, and that was working in the in the gas plants uh, in, in Texas, and Louisiana, and. and uh, so, so I did that and eventually ended up in the Tulsa office, um, came out and, and did some things there as an as a engineering supervisor, as a plant supervisor, as a technical supervisor in various, various facilities and then had the opportunity to go to uh, Angola, to West Africa and work with our gas and gas liquids group uh, there offshore in Africa. So did that on, on uh, for six years. It was on rotation. It was on rotation. Uh, twenty eight on, twenty eight off. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, working with working with lots of other working with people from Britain, with uh, people from Ireland, working with uh, people from Angola, the Congo, from I don't know, from Italy, from Portugal, from all over. And and then. And then came back after six years and went into process safety management within the Houston area and worked with our facilities there for the next couple of years. And, and while doing that, they said, well, you know, we need, we've got a lot of paper in doing this, in, in this compliance effort. Uh, we need a way to handle this. We need a way to manage all this documentation. And so that's when I partnered up with Chevron Production and, and the Chevron Information Technology Company, we started working on this uh, document management system, information management system. Uh, we even uh, even found even had a nickname of Doc Man there for, for a few years. Uh, so we were able to to go around to different facilities within Chevron and able to help get these systems set up so that people can start managing their documents and, and finding them and, and what they were doing. And then took retirement in 2004. And uh, there were some things that happened in 2005 in Texas City with BP. And I got to think, you know, I might be able to go share some of these experiences. And you, and you students need to go look that up. Look up March 2005, BP, Texas City. And after that event occurred, I said, you know what, well, there may be some ways that I can help other people learn about these, about the risk and about how to mitigate the risk and do what they do in process technology. So I started teaching at Lee College in Baytown, Texas. Been doing that now for the past 10 years. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of exciting. It's a lot of excitement, and to help people uh, go out and get a career, and you know, and learning how to operate these refineries and gas plants and chemical plants.